Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to take apart an Ultrafire uh, 18650 or TR18650, 45 milliamp hours. There's your specs. Um, battery. This is uh, one I use on my uh, flashlights. And um, if you can read it there, it says high rate discharge, no memory effect. It says short circuit, overcharged, and discharge protection. PCB uh, life is around 10 years and yeah it is green well you gotta love the Chinese it says lithium-ion here and uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, not gonna be that great when I take it apart um, I'll show you what I have this is it here and as you can see I've already peeled the uh, outer jacket off and uh, just so you know, I've overcharged this battery using a Light Pro charger, and uh, you know, basically it now does not take a charge. So there's the top end, there's the bottom end, and the outside shielding. I'm gonna take the Dremel and uh, cut it open. Let's see if there is any circuitry at all, and what exactly is inside it. Okay, there we are, all the way around, and I'm going to pull out what's in there, and right off the bat you see that there's just a little metal tab going to the front. I don't actually see any circuitry. I will take this apart as well to make sure that there's something in there, whether there's something in there or not. And what we see inside is... Looks like wrapped up battery. So let's pull that out if we can. And I can't. Oh, just broke the cap. So if you can see, there's what's in it. Um, so next I'm going to cut it uh, width uh, lengthwise there and uh, see what's inside all the way through. And see if I can unwrap this up. Okay, there's the end cap uh, taken off, and I actually cut half, uh, uh, cut it in half, or more or less cut through it to so see if there's any circuitry in it. And show it to you here. I can safely say there's no circuitry in the positive end cap. Okay, it's just a cap. That's all it is. Okay, so we'll move on to what's left of the battery. And I'm going to cut that open and see what that battery looks like and to see if there's any protection circuitry in there and what it actually the guts look like. Okay, I've been cutting through it and I'd say the majority of the weight on this battery is probably the robust uh, metal housing. Um, pulling it open now. Seems to still be a problem because they use such a tough outside casing, which is good, but I'd say the majority of the weight, again, is the outside housing. I'm going to rip that open and I'll show it to you open up. Okay here's the housing ripped open and this is what came out of it. This little piece of copper and this tab here which I'm sure connects to the negative portion of this battery. Uh, what's left of this battery anyways what's in here. Um, still don't see any circuitry in it. Uh, let me weight the outside casing out. Now the whole battery's weight was 37 grams. Just the outside casing is 12 grams. So, oh, let's put the uh, cap and stuff on it too. 15 grams of the battery is just casing material. Uh, let's see the inside guts, what they weigh. 21. Okay, so I lost a little bit on the metal there. Um, the metal I cut off of it. So, uh, total weight of this battery is 21 grams. Um, I'm going to un unravel this carefully and see what I got. Okay, so I'm just going to peel the la la layers off of it. Again, I've yet to see any circuitry on this. So it's just a great big long band of materials, which is what you expect to find on a I don't know if that's what you expect to find on the battery, but all the way to the end. 
I'm going to pull each layer off. One layer. Man, smells bad, dude. Oof, man. Here's the other layers. Just more of the same. So, my basic conclusion here is that this battery has no circuit protection at all that I can see. Um, there's no electronics in it anyway. Maybe there's a heat fuse or something, but uh, definitely nothing I can see as far as electronics go. So there's no temperature sensor or anything like that in it. Yeah, and that's it. That's the battery pulled apart. All the guts, man, I gotta tell you, it smells bad. No circuitry in that at all. So, you know, they say it has a protection circuit in it. Uh, short of a sort of fuse or something that might melt when it gets too hot or something, I don't see it. There's all the components, and I don't see a single piece of electronic uh, circuit protection in it. Now, that's an electronic. There might be some sort of thermal fuse in it, but I don't see it. And, uh, you know, when I charged it, overcharged it, it obviously did not stop it from uh, getting really hot because it really got really hot and it overcharged. And now it doesn't take a charge at all. Well, of course, now it doesn't take a charge at all, but before I took it apart, it didn't take a charge at all either. So, there's no circuitry there to, no electronic circuitry there to protect that battery and uh, that's the guts of it. So, you know, that's what you're getting when you get one of these Ultrafire uh, TRS 1860s. Let me bring it up closer here. Um, but, you know, again, I don't know. Is this a real one? Is this a fake one? No idea, right? You can never tell. But, again, they seem to work okay in uh, the battery, in the flashlights I've put them into. But, again, I don't see any protection in them. So, that's my Ultrafire TR1860 4500 mAh 3.7 volt battery disassembly. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta clean up this mess.